Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's your day going? Good, so far. Okay, okay. So what's your name? Shelly Prin Coverage. Say that again. Shelly Prin Coverage. Okay, all right. Nice to meet you, Miss Shelly. Nice to meet you. All right. And where are you from? Scranton, Pennsylvania. Scranton. What part of PA is that? Um, Northeast Pennsylvania. Northeast, okay. So you traveled? Yes. What brought you out here to Kensington, PA? Um, I guess the like the city life, um, COVID. So um, my restaurant closed, and mm -hmm. I started using drugs, and I came down here because it's cheaper. You had your own restaurant business? Yeah, like a diner. Like you owned it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, um, how was your business going? It was going good. It was going good? Mm -hmm. Profitable? It was, yeah. Okay, okay. And um, what caused you to lose it and start using? Well, or... COVID, I guess. Um, I had a baby, so I gave birth um, to my daughter. And uh, then COVID. COVID? You had a baby around COVID time or right before COVID? Or? No, I had the baby in July and COVID hit in March. Okay, right. A couple months after. Mm -hmm. Where's your baby at now, if you don't mind me asking? She's with my mother. That's good. That's good. She's in good hands. Um, here and there before COVID, I think. Here and there. And what started your drug use? Um, not, I don't think it was dope though. It was um, Xanax. It was Xanax at the time? Because I, I stopped drinking because the drinking was a little bit out of hand, maybe. And, um, I, you know, the pregnancy. So just to relax, really. I think I needed something to relax. Was life going well at the time? It was, but it was stressful. It was seven days a week and it was constant work. And, you know, it's not, it's not easy owning your own restaurant. It wasn't. Right. You, you didn't have any business partners at all? Me and my um, baby's father. Okay. Now, um... Sorry, a loud motorcycle. Is he still in your life at all? He passed away. He passed away. I'm sorry for your loss, miss. Thank you. No, that was hard for me. Um... Like, did he pass away after you lost the restaurant, or? After last November. Okay. So you were stuck running the restaurant all by yourself? Yes. It got stressful. No, no, the restaurant closed. We were down here. We were already down here for a while. Oh, okay. You were already down here? Yeah. Was he using at all? Um, yes. Yeah. He was? Mm, yes. And would you say anybody introduced you to drugs, like these hard drugs? It was your choice? Yes. You was just curious? Um, Is that what brought you down here? My sister was down here, and it was cheaper. So just kind of to get away from everything when COVID started, just to, it was a lot okay. to deal with. Is your sister still down here with you? She is. She is? Okay. And do you and her, uh, do you all run these streets together? Or? I think, um, I haven't talked to her in a little bit. Right. Do you have any family in your corner that wants you off these streets of Kensington? Um, I've, like, I, I have my family, but as long as I'm okay, you know. Right, but I'm saying, do they want you off the streets? Do they try to help you at all, or anybody talk to you? Um, I don't really talk to anyone. And that's just your choice? Mm hmm But do they know you're out here? Yes. They do, okay. You think if they was to see this video, they would come out here and try to help you? No. Not at all? No. So why do you choose to like be down here and, and, and not reach out? You ever... I'm happy down here. I'm happy with the life I live. I'm happy like this. Oh, okay. You, do you, but you have, a, uh, you have kids. Well, I have a daughter. But she's, I think, um, she's good with my mother. Right. I'm sorry, I meant to say a kid, yeah. but 
she's good with your mother. You don't want to take care of her or be in her life at all? I'm not really. I didn't. I think that everything that happened um, was meant to be. You know? Hey, I, I don't judge. I don't judge at all. I don't judge nobody on their thought process. But um, do you ever think that your daughter thinks about you and misses you and wants to see you? I try not to think about it. Try not to put that in the back of your mind, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your ethnic background? Um, European. You're European? Mm -hmm. Okay. What country? Um, I think Italian, Polish, Irish, Welsh. All right. So your family were immigrants or? Grandparents. Your grandparents. Great grandparents. All right. Great great grandparents. Mm -hmm. Were you a good learner growing up as a as a kid? Did you have a good childhood or? Yes. You did. Yeah. All right. That's the suck. So, what do you do out here to acquire funds? Um, I have food stamps. I have friends. Okay, that's good. Have you ever worked the Ave at all? The, um, oh, you go on dates? Panhandle. Panhandle? Yes. So you don't work the Ave at all? Um, no. No? Have you ever done it before, though? Um, no. No? It's too dangerous, too scary, right? Yeah. Right. So how much would you say you make a day? Panhandling and um, hustling as you do. Do you dibble and dabble with any of the samples out here? Um, yes. You do? Yes. How often? Um, whenever I can. Whenever you can. I know you say you was content down here, but like, what what is there to like out here besides the drugs? What is there the out here for you? The people, um, uh -huh. just the lifestyle, everything is like, I know people don't judge you, like, right. there's things to do, you can just do what you want, like, mm -hmm. without you know, judgment. You, you have the freedom yeah. of like being an addict. And just everything. I just, I like it here. I'm used to it. Okay. Do you ever miss your business though? Um, the people. The people? Nice. You're a people person, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And it's like the same here. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. What's your favorite color? Green. Green, that's my favorite color. Why? Why is that your favorite color? I don't know. I, I, I guess different reasons. I, I like it. I think it goes good with my skin. Hmm. Now, knowing that it's dangerous out here, how do you survive? Um, I don't think it's dangerous. What did you say? I'm sorry? Like, I don't look at it as dangerous. You don't look at this This is dangerous at all? Mm -mm. Um, you don't see people dying at all out here or OD or somebody getting shot? Have you ever witnessed any of that traumatic events? Yeah, I've seen it before. But I don't know, I just trust people, I guess. Okay. Okay. So you just see it as like regular life. It is life though. Yeah. People do die, you know, they live, we live to die. Yeah. So you're right. I, I'm not, I'm not mad about the way you, your way of thinking. I, I'm not even gonna lie. It's different though, you know. Um. So, what was your favorite thing to do when you were clean? Ever thought about it? No. What was like some hobbies you were into? I really didn't have hobbies. I had the, um, my dog. Had a dog. Mm -hmm. What did you What did you love the most? I don't really know. Okay. I like shopping, just relaxing, going on rides, being mm -hmm. outside. Shopping, shopping. Mm -hmm. You're a big shopper. I like to shop. Okay. So, are, do you consider yourself a materialistic person? Um, not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, how much money would you say you make out here a week? I added everything up. Me you personally, some, I don't know. You don't know? A couple hundred, I'd say. I, I really don't know. Now, are you homeless out here? Yes. 
Right. And I, I'm just, I'm surprised how you're able to save save money while like being in these type of conditions. Like, you know, having to spend money on food and not have shelter, food and drugs and not have shelter and stuff like that. I like, shelter. Like I have places that I can go. I don't have my own apartment. Okay. Okay, that's understandable. Is it like a, a, a ran down a, a mando or something? Kind of, yeah. Right. Any way to, you know, stay warm out here because it's about to get cold. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be out here like that. I'm glad you got the coat on though. All right. Now, um, what would you say is the most violent thing you had to go through out here? You would say. I don't know. I, I, no violent experiences, none of that? No, thank God. Okay. Have you ever dealt with any mental illnesses? Um, no. No, not at all? I used to have anxiety like a long time ago. Right. And um, you never have any anxiety attacks at all anymore? Um, when I like feel it coming on, I take a second, you know, get myself together. Okay, I got an important question for you. If you had one special wish, anything in this world, what would it be? What wish would it? What would you wish for? I don't. I really don't know what to say. Really don't know. What does life mean to you? Are you afraid to die? No. No. And you love the life you live out here? Yeah. Right. How, how do the, uh, the people treat you out here, not as far as the, the other dr drug addicts that you might come across, but I'm saying the residents. Really good. The residents treat you good too? The, how about the drug dealers? Everyone does. Everyone treats you good? Yeah. Last question. If you was to see a 14 year old boy or girl out here in the same shoes you are, would you, you know, try to get them off the streets, give them advice, or, or um, help them out? Well, if they didn't have a family, I would definitely try to help them. Hmm. Have you ever seen anybody that young out here addicted? No. No? They are. They are. Now, no recovery for you at all? Do you want to recover? Do you want to get yourself up out of this madness? For a long time, I, I wondered, you know, like, I did, I was clean for a while. Um, okay. It didn't give me, it gave me, I feel better, much better now than I ever did. And how did you feel during the time you was clean? Like, you know, just unhappy, not, there wasn't anything satisfying about it. So drugs brought you happiness? God, you know, the peace. All right, I'd like to thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> and all time media will be praying for you, girl. Thank you.